Can I have a kiss? Oh, good girl. <laughs> a bid for love answered by little Opal Sandy. Before doctors at Cambridge University Hospital injected her right ear with a modified virus containing a synthetic protein, Opal would not have heard the request from her mom. So one thing that we've been really excited about here is that we've been able to use a really small dose of gene therapy delivered directly to the cochlea. And what that means is that we're not delivering a large dose of gene therapy to the rest of the body. And then, um, uh, so it means that we see fewer side effects. Targeted gene therapy is being tested on children like Opal. She was born with auditory neuropathy, which can be the result of the OTOF gene missing a protein called autoferlin. The infusion delivered a copy of that protein and appears to have corrected the fault, allowing the tiny hair cells deep in the inner ear to communicate with the auditory nerve, sending signals to the brain. That was 24 weeks post-surgery and we heard the phrase near normal hearing. They played us the sounds that she was turning to and we were quite mind blown by how, how soft it was, how quiet it was. We can start to use gene therapy in young children, restore hearing from a variety of different kinds of genetic hearing loss and then have a more one and done type approach. Early results in the multi-phase trial involving Opal and a second participant were presented at the American Society of Gene and Cell Therapies annual conference. More children in the UK, Spain and the US are being added to the trial and participants will be followed for five years. We've been given a really unique opportunity with no real evidence that any harm or adverse effects to potentially make obstacles easier for her to overcome was a risk definitely worth taking. Crystal Gamansing, Global News, London.